Hello and welcome aboard on this project. Today, we will make a real fog machine which works by atomizing glycerin, just like the real ones, because it's real. To make this easy project, we will need a small metal can like this, the size of a milk or cream can. A small piece of 10 cm PVC pipe with a bell end so that the can will fit inside it like this. A smaller 45 mm PVC pipe. An 8 cm PC fan with sufficient airflow and some sort of a fan mount that can be attached on the pipe in some way. Nickel chrome or thin twist tie wire for the resistor. We will need fiberglass lamp wick as well, which is not shown here. Also wiring and screw terminals. And a cap. Make a few holes on the cap and put the screw terminals and their wires through them. Also make two small holes on the back side for the wires and a bigger one for a pipe that will work as an air outlet. Now attach the base of the fan on the top of the pipe and glue it around with hot glue and screw the fan in place. Test the airflow of the fan. Do not proceed making this if the airflow is not very strong as the resistor might overheat and start a fire. Now we need to make the coil resistor. This device is going to work best at around 100 watts, so we need 1.5 ohms coil resistance. To find out how many watts is going to be, Multiply the volts by volts, divide them by the ohms, and this will give you the result. Pass a fiberglass lamp wick through the coil. Do not use cotton like I did, it was only used for demonstration purposes, and it will catch fire. Fill up the can with 80% vegetable glycerin and 20% water or ready-made diluted glycerin smoke machine fluid. For safety purposes, do not use 100% glycerin without water as it might ignite easier. If you test it on a battery, it should smoke like this. 
now that everything is assembled, it's time for some testing. Warning! For safety reasons, do not exceed 70 watts, which is going to be 2 ohms at 12 volts, and don't let it working unattended. Don't let it run out of fluid, and don't let it run for more than one minute. Use it only for short duration special effects to find vacuum leaks or other purposes. It needs to be powered by a high power 12 volt LED power supply, a computer power supply on the 12 volt rail, or lead acid batteries that are capable of delivering at least 200 watts continuously so to work without issues. That's all, thanks for watching and don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe.